Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Does Challenges in the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Fuck the speed challenge. Uh, we're gonna play Blue Bomber. I do not know what's going on in Blue Bomber, but I can guess. We have uh, Kamikaze. We have Pyro, so we don't get hurt when we use, or Pyromaniac I should say. We have Mr. Mega, or that might be Bomberman Bombs. We have Brother Bobby. So, uh, all things considered, we have a problem. <laughs> because... Yeah, stand... Uh, oh, okay. By the way, apparently uh, Ultra Pride doesn't get hurt by its own bombs. We definitely want nine lives, but... Um, we we have a limited number of bombs, and Brother Bobby fucking sucks. But I guess that's for, you know, it's a design consideration for enemies that are too far away for us to hit with our bombs. Maybe they're separated by a chasm or something like that. Um, but all things considered, this actually, now that I think about it a little bit more uh, clearly, seems completely fine. Like, what, what are we pissed about on this challenge? I, I can't imagine anything. I've already had a, a Pyro Kamikaze run, and it was okay. I didn't have a great time on it, because eventually, like right now, you're like, I blow up every enemy, fuck it, I don't care, I'm a badass. But pretty soon, you know, you're going to be fighting enemies. We're getting extremely lucky with these drops, by the way. Nine lives and a passive ability to fly already. But, um, and we just got more HP. I guess it's Blue Bomber, because we, uh... Our blue baby. Every time we get HP, it doesn't give us HP. But it, it gives us a spirit heart. Um, what I'm getting at is, uh, you know, future enemies take longer to kill. And you gotta stand right next to them to get that damage done. So you gotta be a little uh, wary that that's what's gonna happen in the future. Of course, stuff like Jesus Juice just doesn't affect us at all. Looks like there's no item rooms. Second secret room? Yeah, there are second secret rooms. Okay, this is a, a second secret error room. Which is absolutely no problem. And we got a lot of really useful consumables from that. And we could blow up pots and stuff like that, but we're just gonna head downwards. This one goes all the way to Satan, it looks like. Um, I mean, as of right now, it doesn't seem that bad. But maybe, like, are, are some of the Satan... We can't... Obviously, I hope this is clear, we can't take Pandora's box with us. Um, is... are Satan's feet immune to, uh, to explosions? The Fallen isn't. Is Satan himself, though? That'll be an interesting question, I guess, once we once we get down there. I just realized, by the way, instead of looking at the item tracker in the stats menu, we could totally just look at the item tracker on the right side of the screen. Um, so, you know, there's that. Look, I'm not always a clever man. Some people would say ever, but I would say I'm not always a clever man. Might as well take Halo of Flies, man. Like I said, I don't, I'm starting to think that this is so lucky that it actually has to be an indication that Maybe uh, the, the RNG is tweaked a little bit on this uh, challenge run because it seems like we're getting a ton of items in positions we wouldn't normally expect. Watch us beat this run in 16 minutes, by the way. And the joke there is, fuck the speed challenge. Come on. Dude, seriously? Dude. Thank you. I don't even want counter -a penny. I just wanted enough money to get something from our shop, but sure, I'll take it. But again, keep in mind, like, the damage we have right now is probably likely to stay as our damage, basically, until the end of time. So, uh, we're, uh, we're hoping to get some bigger pickups. We may or may not actually make it happen, but, um, so far it seems really good. Like, we're, we're doing increasingly, uh, or we're doing exceptionally well, I should say. Not increasingly, because that, you know, literally flies in the face of what I just said. Fighting a, a tanky monster on a tiny room is, uh... Not my idea, idea of a good time right now, but, you know, one more hit and he's dead. We're gonna get a deal with the devil. We'll take EHP. And we'll probably... You know what? Black Powder could be good for us here. And you know what? I took the goat head as well. Let's have a... Let's have a future, man. So, Black Powder allows us, of course, to draw these circles that'll hurt enemies on the ground. Because we can fly, I think it's gonna be reasonably easy for us to to do this on rooms where maybe there's a lot of enemies and, you know, actually doing uh, the, the kamikaze attack is going to be annoying. But the number one reason I did this, thank you for not blowing up the mushroom and killing me, is because we have nine lives. So with nine lives, I'm kind of, uh, you know, kind of dangerous decisions like this are facilitated. I don't feel, oh, these enemies are immune. Okay. Probably shouldn't have walked into him, is my guess. But uh, with these enemies being immune to this shit, um, my thinking is, let's just leave and never return. Thank you, mushrooms, for not exploding in my face. 
Come on, pop up, pop up. And there we go, and mapping. We can't take any other space bar items, so you know what? I'm very happy to just be taking a single spirit art to enhance our survivability. Might have been a grave error to go as low on HP as we did, but I don't think it was. I will be content to sacrifice more lives if we can actually make some uh, awesome stuff happen here as a result of those deals with the devil. No item rooms, so uh, again, we'll just kind of book it. I'm not thrilled to be fighting the frail. It's an annoying enemy, and I think it's conceivable we could lose a life here. Although I certainly hope that we do not. That was an unintentional but awesome use of black powder. That was great. Experimental treatment has given us HP. Death's Touch does nothing for us. Betrayal kills us instantly. I think this is... Uh, I want to see if we got a Tinted Rock there. I think this is one of those situations where the items we get here will not be worth it. I would love to pick up a Sack Dagger or something, though. Probably the Arcade is, is mostly worthless. We'll blow everything up just in case. I mean, the Dime pickup is okay. Um, let's just, let's keep moving on. It, it actually is, like, this This run right now is fast enough to beat the speed challenge. Which shouldn't surprise you, it's a pretty spectacular run, you know. As much as I've ragged on the one time I had it, uh, Pyromaniac and, uh, and Kamikaze. Like, it is an, an incredible synergy. It makes you almost unkillable. The only thing that's real fucking annoying about it is that Tanky enemies do still take forever to die, and you basically never improve your damage unless you get more bomb synergies. Um, and even stuff like like homing bombs doesn't matter, sad bombs doesn't matter. I, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think like hot bombs matters. Maybe uh, uh, butt bombs matter? In hindsight, I probably wouldn't have done this room if I'd known that it would be uh, the shitty. But we got AWAS. If we could use AWAS to skip... Maybe the Womb 2? Because we don't need- there's no reason we need to beat Mom's Heart to get to the Womb 2. Or to get to Shoal, I should say. The only question is, can we do that? I think the answer is yes. I think this is worth it just for the, the chance to get Spirit Hearts, honestly. And obviously that didn't really work out, but life goes on. I can't stress enough that even if we lose some lives here, I don't really- uh, I don't care about it yet. I could be persuaded to care about it in the future, but for right now, I got nothing to worry about. By the way, why am I not going to mushrooms and blowing them up? We can all answer this question for ourselves, given enough time to think about it, I'm sure. The answer is, is fairly simple. It's that mushrooms explode into poison gas that could kill us. Or at least hurt us. But isn't hurting us just the, you know, killing us but in the future? Answer, yes. Well worth it. That's the first actual bomb we've used, and I think it's uh, served us pretty well there. More red hearts we can't use. You know what the ultimate uh, item for us is? Oh, don't be a reroll room. That would be hilarious. I don't even know what this run looks like now. We don't have kamikaze anymore. But we still can't shoot. Oh, I fucked it. I fucked it, but it's kind of hilarious. All right. Well, why would I do that? I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you. I had a feeling it might fuck us, but I went with it anyway. Magic mushroom. Okay. Um, and the reason I went with it anyway is because it's kind of funny. Basically, that, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Um, hopefully we still get the goat head effect for this floor, but I don't think we will. Uh, really, really looking for black candle. Uh, we desperately need a bomb. We probably will need the spirit heart. Dice shard? I mean, you know what? I think we have to dice shard these items to try to get, uh, something better. I don't think the boomerang is going to do it, but it, it will do something, so maybe that's worth taking. My hope was actually that uh, we'd pick up a candle. But at least being able to use the boomerang gives us something, you know? It gives us it gives us a way to deal damage in an otherwise damageless world. One more bomb. The real, oh, come on, Brother Bobby. The other danger, of course, is that we're going to run out of bombs pretty freaking soon here. Super bandage, and then the greatest deal with the devil of all time. Uh, empty vessel will just give us the ability to fly. I think we have to take the nail. Even over boomerang. I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but... We still have- we probably don't have pyromaniac anymore either. Oh, this is gonna be ridiculous. I may have completely fucked us. 
I definitely should have stuck with the AWAS route as well. Skipping one extra floor could be extremely useful. Pretty much got no choice but to use bombs until we run out. And if we can finish off a room, we have to give it a try. Also, definitely add a premium to stuff like um, skulls. I know people are going to be like, well, this run's like completely shot. I, I actually disagree. I think it's probably shot. But I, you know, I, I operate under the principle, if not me, then who? If I'm not going to be the one who re-rolls, I don't know why we have invincibility here, but uh, if I'm not going to be the one who re-rolls Kamikaze on, a, on the Blue Bomber run, who is? This is what you're here for. Are you not entertained? That's pretty much where we're coming at it. That The perspective we're coming at it from here. Uh, I don't expect this to be easy. But we do these things not because they are easy. But because they are hard. Uh, you know what? The, let's talk about some of the outs for us on this run. How do we have a chance to win this? Any, uh, any orbitals that are fucking better than Brother Bobby. And that goes down like pretty deep. If it's Cuba meat, it's Cuba meat, man. If it's, oh, there's some invincibility. If it's, um, if it's Sack Dagger, I'm in heaven. And I mean that sincerely, like, Sack Dagger could win us the run pretty easily here. Brother Bobby, just fuck off, man. Right now with two pretty flies, or one pretty fly, I'm not super stoked about it. We also have Judas's Shadow, which is actually hilarious. I wonder what happens if we die nine times and then respawn. I guess the answer is we'll just come back as Dark Judas and still be terrible. Um, you know what? We've already we've already killed two enemies here. I can't kill this last one. I will throw a bomb down in the hopes of getting a bomb. Instead, we got a nail. I'm not going to fart around with this. We're just going to use it immediately. Hoping for a good tarot card. Did not get one. might just oh you know what let's try these that's not very good oh we have curse of the tower so every time we get hit we spawn just a fuck ton of uh, of bombs that's kind of hilarious we're pretty soon we're gonna have to kill a boss without using any bombs this is gonna be a nightmare we still have no item rooms as well which is just the the icing on the cake oh why did I do it why you know what I already, I already explained why I do it. Not because it is easy, but because they are hard. That's supposed to be John F. Kennedy. It's not the gra greatest impression in my wheelhouse, probably. Oh, we have the soul. Good news, guys. We got the soul. Do we have a chance? As long as we're still kicking, we got a chance, baby. I would really like a cube of meat, though. I would really like Sack Dagger, though. And without item rooms, you know, we pretty much only got one shot at that. Gotta check our uh, Tinted Rock, of course. Two keys. There's only one of these. That's not bad at all. Only five or six shots from Brother Bobby. That's all it's gonna take. Oh, beautiful. We even got a bomb. I mean, we spent a bomb, but we got a bomb. Okay, black candle. Not black candle. Blue candle. Ah, it's all pills! I can't take it. I kind of want the tarot card, but I think we got to save up for the next shot, man. Yeah, get in there. Let Brother Bobby do the talking. Come on, come on, living for the Bobby. Come on, come on, listen to the Bobby talk. Seriously, though, um, if I could do this over again, would I? You know what? Yes. Even if we lose, I, I can't stress enough. Everyone's got this rush, rush, rush attitude. Everybody's, you know, doing burnouts on the green light so they can get to the next red light faster than faster than their neighbor, you know? I don't live like that. We're, uh, we're going to be playing Isaac probably until, like, literally the day I die. So, uh, which, which, you know, hopefully is 70 years from now. But, um... We, uh, we don't have any obligation to finish this shit super quickly. We don't have to finish the challenges tomorrow, you know? 
That's not in my wheelhouse. Just hit me a little bit. I want you to hit me so I can get Curse of the Tower. The dream is real. It's yours. Uh, uh, we're actually fucked now, though. <laughs> With no bombs and a torn photo pickup, we are screwed. And uh, I somewhat feel like an idiot. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, we got a bomb, which means that plus our nail charge here means we might be able to survive a few more rooms. Justice helps out a lot because we get a second bomb. And all we're doing right here is looking for um, looking for our shop. And the shop could have Blue Candle. Blue Candle wins us the game. We're like one orbital or one Blue Candle or Red Candle away from winning the game. That's all we need. And this is our shop here. And this is our shop. This is our shop. This is our shop. Our shop. I don't know what that... I forgot that uh, that song, but there it is. God, Brother Bobby is just... balling out of control. He's got 5,000 confirmed kills to his name. What did you just say to me, you little bitch? I'll have you know I... <gasps> Graduated top of my classes in Navy SEAL Sniper Academy, blah blah, 300 confirmed kills. Can we shoot it? Yes. Okay, that was what I was concerned about. As long as we can shoot it, I think we've just won this run. And I mean that in all sincerity. I think we have just fucked the game in the ass. We came, and it was like we'd been waiting a few days to make it happen. It's gonna be walking funny for a little while. It was all consensual, though. It's into the degradation a little bit. Um, we're going to win. We are now going to win. And that's fucking stupid and great. And fuck everybody who was like, Well, way to go, NL. You really fucked it. We do these things not because it is easy, but because it is hard. What did I tell you? Oh, it's the greatest feeling in human history. Black feather with darkness comes power. I think you've misremembered the quote from Spider-Man 1, Edmund and or Tyrone. Uncle Ben didn't say that. Uncle Ben said, pick up my rice blends on sale at Safeway this week. Oh, it's just majestic. Uh-huh. Hey, hey. I'm living in the 21st century, doing something mean with it. Doing it better than <laughs> probably like 73% of people do it. Sure, Steam sale. Don't mind if I do. Oh, suboptimal play, NL. Should have gotten the Steam sale before you picked up the item that completely saved your run from Oblivion. Classic NL luck. Reroll your whole run, put the run in God's hands, and then be saved by a last minute fucking windfall. That's just cla- why can't I get luck like that? We may still be in a dangerous spot at times. I mean, it's not ideal to use a black candle to do all of your damage. I think that's probably clear, but it's- you're doing it, you know? It's like, that's what we're doing here. I'm invincible. You can't fucking talk to me, mon frere. I don't even get hurt on the way out. I don't know what's causing that invincibility, but it's facilitating the world's greatest run. So, I, I'll allow it. Um, Suboptimal decisions here on my part. By the way, um, I'm still not super stoked about the fact that Brother Bobby's on cleanup duty. But good lord, this is so much better than it was. I can't I was looking through and I'm like, man, we got nine lives and a chance to fucking have to use Brother Bobby to kill Satan. This is the worst. Now all we need is one more reroll run. Reroll room, I should say, so that all of my um, positive feelings can be just fucking gambled again. I really thought it would give us tears, by the way. When we did the reroll room, I thought it was going to give us... It was gonna take our blindfold off. It did not take our blindfold off. Instead, it just, it made the blindfold worse. Oh, there is another one. My mistake. I mean, this is why, like, this is not gonna be super fun. Still largely relying on a familiar that does no damage. Hopefully we can um, pick up a deal with the devil here. It's basically Lilith practice right now. We're on the fucking mom fight. The the ultimate irony here is that we will be able to make boss rush if there is a boss rush in this challenge. 
That's the dumbest shit of all time. I'm so happy we made it happen. Shouldn't have even done it there. I can't get hit by explosions, or by the foot, apparently. I guess Kamikaze's still active for us. Or maybe that's just hard-coded into the challenge. I don't know. Man, thank God we didn't have to fight Red Mom, even if we did have bombs. Like, Kamikaze would have been a different story, but, uh... Red Mom is super fucking annoying if you only have bombs. I'm gonna get a tasty little dink. Oh. Brother, I want Brother Bobby to finish the job. It's symbolic. Almost. Oh, it's just beautiful. All right, we will take the negative, I suppose. Even though I'd really like permanent Polaroid invincibility. I don't want any of this shit. Okay, you blew it. I don't even want Gimpy. You blew it. Oh yeah, we'll take a uh, freaking uh, Ludovico technique, I think. Uh, see you in hell, fuckers. Oh, the rage. It's because of the speed challenge, man. It's just bubbling up. Bubbling up to the surface here. It feels so good. Vindicated and it feels so good. Vindicated like I knew I would. I'm gonna taste, bitch boy. They have refused to get a taste. That's alright. That damage doesn't bother me at all. It's really just like this is a bum rush to our boss fight type situation. You know, we all read about it in Isaac 101. I'm not gonna belabor the point too much. I love being invincible. I bet I walk in here, they're like, this motherfucker can't even shoot. Oh shit! He's literally unkillable. He shoots fire out of his fucking face and he's mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. My life is screwed. This is not the way. Fastball would not write a song about this. If anyone gives me, I swear, I see you out there, by the way. If anyone gives me shit for so Northern Lion scummed up another challenge, don't you even. You know what? Here's your seed, dog. See you on the other side, Red Hot Chili Peppers, track four off of Californication. Feel free to do the seed together. If you succeed, we'll say, hey, thank you. I, we have mutual respect for one another as, as uh, colleagues and competitors. You know, it's uh, uh, a Nikola Tesla, um, Mark, Mark, not Mark Twain, Thomas Edison type situation. Two different, uh, two different assholes there. My mistake. I'm not calling Mark Twain an asshole. I never met him. What do I know? All I've seen is drunk history. Range up. Oh, just exquisite. Incredible value contained therein. Luck up. That's actually pretty okay. Explosive diarrhea? I ain't complaining. Pooped right in that chub's mouth. All right, let's get this run over with, man, because I want to take out my latent rage on the other casual competitors of Friday Night Magic pretty soon. It's a long drive, you know? Fucking Kingsway gets packed this time of night. Maybe I'll just re-roll my car into a different lane. That's unlikely. That's, you know, drive safe. I hate Brother Bobby, by the way. Is there any way to delete specifically only Brother Bobby from my game? I'm joking. It's actually been one of the only reasons we've been able to survive uh, today. And even if we only relied on Brother Bobby for a while and we wish that we hadn't had to. You know, nobody's getting off food stamps and saying, fuck food stamps, probably. I literally have, you know, no experience with that, so I should probably not try to co-op that experience for myself. But, uh, you know, I, I, I'd like to think... In a perfect world, you'd, you'd be like, hey, thanks for thanks for getting me through some tough times, food stamps. So, you know what? Thanks for getting me through food stamps, Brother Bobby. Ah! Things are going to become fairly difficult here. Brother Bobby is just always dealing the killing blow. Like a fucking Echo and the Bunny Men song or something.
Guess we'll go to the right. Uh, gotta be real with you. I would give up all both of my nuts for some mapping. And I mean that sincerely. If a compass shows up, I'll cut off both of my nuts live on camera. It's never gonna happen. Well, now I've said it, so here we go. Get the webcam out, Dad. Your son's gonna cut off his nuts live on camera. Is this what you always wanted? Actually, when you think about it, cutting your nuts off, off ca on camera is like the best way to get back at your dad if you don't actually like him. Which, you know, I, I have a great relationship with my parents, but if I didn't, you'd be like, Check it out, Dad! No grandkids for you! I'm literally going to do the dumbest shit of all time. Real slap in the face. That'll teach him. That'll teach him to try to raise you. We're going to get into some weird topics because, like, this is a weird run, man. You will never get this. You will never get this. This money will never be useful. I can't believe we have to do all of Shoal still. I'd, I'd cut off the tip of my dick for an Emperor card right now. Cut off the tip of someone else's dick for a, a world card. See, I'm nice. I wouldn't cut off, you know, I, I value their personal safety more than my own because I have agency over my own personal safety. Um, okay. Enter the dragon here. Great stuff. Again, fight uh, death. Give me a single cube of meat. Makes my life ten times easier. Oh! Isn't she lovely? Hey, isn't she wonderful? Angel of destruction. Beelzebub also known. Seriously, like assuming this doesn't give us the pony somehow, which just would launch me into another uh, musical tirade, um, I would just be fucking thrilled that this seems to have worked out exactly the way we wanted it to. And again, single cube of meat is the, the item of our dreams. Oh. Oh. Fuck this, we're turning this into the cat got your tongue challenge. Oh, my voice. My voice is just gone. That's okay. Okay, so we gotta get through this floor. So what are we relying on? What are we waiting for? Well, um... The first thing is whatever gives us that invincibility. The second thing is, you know, shitty enemies that are easy for us to kill with, uh, you know, an orbital. Sort of tricky for us to kill with, uh, with fire. Examples include these pieces of shit, which I'm gonna kill with fire just because the soul is pushing them into a weird direction. Examples include Loki! But we'll obviously save the fire for that. Look, I'm not gonna go out on a limb and say that this is still, like, an easy setup. <laughs> Brother Bobby, of course, gets the kill shot. Here we go. Roasted. Um, this is still, like, a tough-ass run, man. Anyone who's watching this is oh, it's easy. It would be so much nicer to just walk up to the enemy, press space, and fucking blow them away. But we we signed out of that fucking library card when we uh, when we said we don't play by your rules, Dewey Decimal. Like that room still took an awful long time. I'm also a little scared about how this the, you know what this means for us on the Satan fight. Like, that seems like it could be a little tricky. This room is the exact example of um, what I was getting at when I said I wanted, like, a cube of meat. It has made our lives so much easier to have this. He was fucking roasted and toasted. He just didn't know it yet. Oh, pretty good. Not so good. Nope. Alright, uh, do we want that? Uh, yeah, maybe. We'll give it a shot anyway. Nah, I'm not too pleased with that, but we got two red chests out of it that gave us two spirit hearts. So in a way, it ended up working out even better than we could have possibly anticipated. What a beautiful life. Oh, 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 oh. We also got some spiders out of that. Oh, it must have been one of the other red chests maybe gave us spiders. Oh, fuck 
yeah, bud. This one is working, working out like a fucking dude with low self-esteem right now. No, I'm not saying that all dudes who work out have low self-esteem or even the high proportion of them. I'm simply saying that if you have low self-esteem, you may be working out. I'm not trying to pin that on anybody. I'm just saying, uh, well, you know, the lower your self-esteem, the more uh, iron you should pump. You're basically, you're building self-esteem like that. I don't know, it's not an admission of a bad thing. That, you know, you're doing something to build your self-esteem. It's part of a, he a healthy sense of self. A healthy sense of self. Oh, oh. Uh, I, I'm not loving the situation we're in. But I think I'll just let mom's heart kill, like, all of these minions that it spawned. And then we'll just do like that. And use the soul to push the bullets away, and then we'll have invincibility and kill mom's heart with cube of meat. I can't believe we're gonna make this work, probably. I fucking, yeah, I'm gonna go fight the hush like this. Yeah, see you in hell, you fucking hoser. I don't think so. Great stuff. Two extra bombs. Alright, all we gotta do is find the Satan. Oh, you know what's hurting enemies? Maybe even giving us invincibility when we get hurt sometimes? Maybe is the negative. Because I'm, I'm so. Still not used to the negatives effects, which is kind of hilarious considering, you know, how long it's been in the game. And I'll, I'll be the first person to tell you that one. We really need to work better... Work more, I guess I should say, on um, making... The fire do what it's supposed to do. Which is a very roundabout way of saying... You think we can blow this up right now? Nope. Uh, a very roundabout way of saying, I need to slow down my fire shots. Because as of right now, I'm, I'm shooting them a little too fast. Most enemies are not taking the damage that I would feel, you know, is acceptable for them to take. That was just a whiff and a fucking half there. I really don't want to use all my bombs against Chubb. We got a long fight coming up against Satan. Oh, that was the luckiest bounce since fucking the 2011 Stanley Cup Finals. Great work. Fantastic. Uh, call a little bit of bullshit on that monster taking a little longer to die than I would have liked. But that's an example of, um, you know, optimum placements of the the blue fire and that's gonna work exactly the same way there it took a second to make it happen though two more red chests i mean it didn't work out but it, it easily could have don't break free don't break free he's broken free that's all right we got invincible for whatever reason good yep yeah stand still Perfect. Ah, just a tangential hit. One of these days, man. I mean, this enemy's not even supposed to be tough. It's very tempting to use, uh... Oh my god, these fucking bloops, man. It's very tempting to use, uh... Our cube of meat to accomplish this. Telepills? Whoa! Explosive diarrhea. Health down! Health down! Well, we have explosive diarrhea. We can use that to get through a couple of rooms. In fact, if we want to, we could just bum rush uh, through a couple of rooms as is here, you know? Oh my god, the bloop is out of control. Noisy. Flipping cool it there, Kool-Aid man. Nothing so important, you gotta message me at 5.45 on a Friday. Daddy's working right now. Okay, Brother Bobby, another kill shot. Thank you, Soul. How many of these um, <laughs> are left? There was no insults uh, that is acceptable for the proportionality of their crimes against me. Oh, give me some HP. Give me some HP. That is actually fantastic. We really cannot afford to, to just eat shit. Oh my, okay, I'll turn it off. You know what? You forced me. 
You forced me to turn it off. They're talking about freaking woodworking. What are you, 100 years old, Josh? Working with wood, you got an actual skill that makes you employable outside of cracking jokes while playing video games? You think that makes you fucking cool or something? That's not the way we work. We're millennials, man. That's, a, that's meant to be a, a joke, but it might not come across as such. Oh, fucking poor ass right there. What? No. Sincerely, we cannot afford to, to eat shit on the, on the Satan fight. I know I've said sincerely about 50 times, and, you know, the general rule of thumb is the more someone says sincerely, the less sincere they're probably being, but, um... I do mean it genuinely here. Uh, this might be like exactly as much HP as we want to keep. Like the minimum le level of HP that we're comfortable keeping. Oh, the invincibility is out of control. All we gotta do is last long enough to get that. Ooh, I didn't think that you guys would do anything there. Um, I thought you were chained to the wall. Freaking, taking, taking wild swings here. Goodbye, horses. Oh, that was really dumb. Let's hoping maybe we get some kind of special orbital there. Oh, oh not orbital. Uh, something from the skulls. I mean. Okay, here we go. This is important. That was good. I don't want invincibility yet. Okay, we have invincibility. <laughs> At least we should be able to kill the Fallen in this period of invincibility. We'll now throw down a bomb. And then Blue Candle did some good work there. Just waiting for the right moment to sneak in here. What are we holding back for? We're not holding back for... That was dumb. We're not holding back for anything. Still got, you know, two hits and several lives. I'm not even going to use Explosive Diarrhea if I can get around it. I'm tempted to say, don't fuck this up, but I don't think this is like a don't fuck it up situation. I think this is like a, a do your fucking best situation. Oh, that orbital damage was okay. I missed big time there. It's good, that orbital damage is keeping you in the game right now. Oh, we did it! Fuck you, blue bomber! Roasted and flippin' toasted. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we've already seen the gold bombs, but still. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. We'll be back with the next challenge next time. If you did enjoy, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.